to the channel guys, you got a griddle. Let me show you how to make this stuff. Tastes better, super easy. I was initially gonna do a knockoff video, copycat video, I shouldn't say knockoff, copycat video. So how do we make that, you know, sort of the same exact. What is that? This is chicken fried rice. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you, good question, yeah. right? So I went and grabbed some chicken fried rice on my way home today and I sat there in the supermarket parking lot. I should have fired up my phone and taken a video. You should have. Cause I'm like going through this with a spoon, you know, trying to see what's in it. And I, I'm tasting it and I'm like, there's nothing special about it. It's just soy sauce. You know, it's the soy sauce and rice. After seeing what you did to it, yeah. That's because apparently that is all it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, why, but why does it taste so good at 1 a.m., right? Yeah. That's really the question. But in any case, so instead of doing a copycat, what we're gonna do is make this at home, but make it taste better, fresher, and not with exotic ingredients, right? I mean, there's tons of videos on YouTube of people making fried rice, yeah. and you'll get their counter and you can't actually see the counter. And I'm like, I'm never gonna go buy those 37 ingredients to make one bowl of fried rice. So stick around, we're gonna show you the intro when you come back. Basic ingredients, tasty chicken fried rice. You'll enjoy it. Let's see if Chris can figure out this garlic finger trap. If I had to guess, you'd so, put it in. <laughs> so I'm putting put Chris to work. Rolling. There's not a whole lot to this, folks. The one, probably the most important thing. Did it work? <laughs> Perfect. Really? Hey, do another one. Do another I, one. I told you, man. I like that thing. You yeah, what, you tried it at home too? Yeah. Holy cow. I had one of those before and June threw it out on me. She's like, you don't need this. Because it takes up so much space? Yeah. Uh, that one not so good. Hold on, let me try it again. Get the get the pudgy fingers working. Oh, well, you, you came apart. <laughs> Perfect though, oh, it came it's, off. It's peeled. Most of it. First one worked great. I was gonna toss it, but I guess no, I'll keep it. Didn't, um, mean, didn't mean to interrupt Nate. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. So the important thing is you gotta have cold rice. Right, so uh, if you're like me and you forgot to make rice the day before and put it in the fridge. Amateur hour. Amateur hour, <laughs> it is. It says, it's uh, been a busy day. Stir fry rice hack, number one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I cooked the uh, white rice just plain Uncle Ben's long grain. Cooked it normal, chicken stock, a little extra water, and then threw it on this and chucked it in the fridge for about an hour now. But after that, we're gonna figure out how much fried rice you wanna make, right? Because all the rest of your ratios, your onion, your garlic, everything, just depends on how big a portion you're making. I'm gonna make probably like, I'm gonna say more or less this whole container. Although Jeff's not eating carbs, right Jeff? Do it all, what else are you gonna do with the rice? Do it all. Uh, I suppose Jack already asked for some. He said, please bring, bring some home, Dad. Really? Yeah. Actually, the, the whole tray might just be this size container. Has so. it ever really gone bad? No. Not no, it has Yeah, no, you can go by. I'm yeah. not gonna get close to me. Yeah, no, Jeff. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, you see this? <laughs> so I got Chris working on garlic. The basic ingredients while he does that. No, 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 hey, hey. Oh, sorry. What'd you give me the knife for? Well, now you gotta peel two more. <laughs> I didn't give you the knife. The knife was for me. It was over here. You put it here. Oh. We'll make this work. Comedy of clowns here. Comedy Where do you want this, right? Where do you want it? I was hoping you would do that after you took care of the chicken, but uh, for now, this is, see, this is why Chris needs a manager. Yeah, yeah Chris does not need a manager. That definitely <laughs> needs to be managed. How about it Definitely man? does not. Why don't you good. use my knife and cut that off so it lands in the cup? I'm not gonna do it just because he told me to. How about that? <laughs> I was thinking the same that? thing. Do you see how little squeezes out around the sides though? Look at that, it's, wow. So Jeff, got, Jeff and Chris are enamored. Jeff and Chris are enamored with this garlic press, so we'll put a link in the description. Yeah, um, I like it, Jeff. So here's the thing, guys. You can make a great chicken fried rice with just chicken, onion, egg, garlic, and soy sauce, okay? Like, that's sort of the basics. If you want to make it better, right, we're gonna add bean sprout, a little bit of peas and carrots, and some ginger root. In my investigation of the takeout rice, Jeff, if you'll pan down here, this is exactly what they had. Ratio-wise, a lot of rice, fair amount of chicken, tiny amount of bean sprout, some carrot, very little onion, and I think the single pea speaks for itself. So you should say, <laughs> no, you and you had to dig for that. You, yes, you, I had you, to dig so for you, that. So he took a spoonful out, a so big spoonful. You, you can see half of that wasn't even in there. For that. <laughs> All right, so Chris, you're shooting for like that size. One of the important steps is velveting the chicken. Uh, you need velveting. We've done it in other videos. If you go back and look at our Chinese spare rib video, basically velveting is using cornstarch and a little bit of water 
to marinate the meat in. And what happens is some special scientific stuff that basically makes the meat more tender, right? And it's actually pretty quick. It takes like a half hour, not even a half hour, just like any time, 10 minutes, sitting in the, not cornstarch, baking soda, sitting in the baking soda, 10 minutes. Makes a big difference. I've never seen Chris try to work so fast. He must be yeah. feeling the pressure. She hungry. <laughs> I love Chinese food. <laughs> This is the next thing, right? You have to look at how much rice you have. Jeff and Chris insisted we make it all. Yeah. So that's a lot of rice. I call that four cups. So the sauce that I'm gonna make, if you look at that and you think about how much sauce do I have to have to coat that, I would typically say you're probably looking at this like thinking about a half of a regular paper cup. Go a little extra. Don't go a ton extra, but go a little extra. With soy? So I'm going to do, and you guys can watch, I don't like to do straight soy, right? So I cut the soy about 50-50 with water. So that was what, one, two garlic cloves, Chris? Yeah, a little closer to one and a half. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna double that with water. Why do you dilute it, Nate? You think Just it's because too it's- Too powerful? It's too potent, it's too yeah. salty. You know, it's- I, It's I'm not even a double dark, Jeff. I know. I'm not even gonna <laughs> say, well, I want this, most people don't have double dark in their cabinet, right? I'm gonna give this a couple dashes of fish sauce just to bump up that umami. You don't want it to taste like fish sauce. And then a little bit of the ginger. Don't go strong on the ginger. Ginger is very, very potent. Goes a long way. A little bit a goes, little a, goes long. a long way. The griddle guys learned that the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> what you want, what you really want is when, to me, now, I mean, if you love ginger, you can put as much as you want, but what you really want is it just, just tastes a little bit more savory, a little bit, sort of that other layer of flavor where you go, oh, this isn't just regular rice. <clears throat> a lot of pressure here. Normally we shut the camera off a bunch of times while we do this, but. Hey, we're, up, we're at the home stretch. I'll hold my coffin then. <laughs> Everybody's coughing with uh, the amount of pollen out there. Oh yeah, it's brutal. Did you see that meme? Pollen clouds. <laughs> Someone sent me a meme the other day and it uh, said I stepped outside for a minute to see how bad the pollen was and it was like a selfie and the person was entirely green. Oh <laughs> shit. Was, I saw one where- Obviously Photoshop. I saw one where it was a, it was a wintertime picture of a, someone snow blowing, but they tinted it all green. <laughs> so yeah. the snow blow was going to blow yeah, green That's snow. what it feels like. <laughs> All right, so when you're looking at that much rice, that's a lot of rice, right? That's all the ginger I'm doing. Um, you can do more if you want, but- Tablespoon? Yeah, good tablespoon, good size teaspoon. tablespoon, yeah. Uh, but what I'll say is, ginger is one of those things like garlic salt and like smoking meat. You can overdo it. I respectfully yeah. disagree. Ginger can be very powerful. Dude, I was at your house when you first tried using the smoker on your grill, mm. and we couldn't eat that food. Yeah, that was pretty strong. Yeah. Do you still respectfully disagree? What about that time I did the ginger on the uh, bok choy? Oh yeah, and it was so hot you couldn't even eat it. Well, so we're gonna cut up some onion. We're gonna cut up, uh, beat up an egg. But the important part was this, right? Getting your sauce going. And you're not doing fish sauce on this, or you did? Somebody's not Where paying attention. Where is that guy? Oh, I, I missed it. Did I, did I do it? <laughs> so off this game Man. today. Guys, we're gonna take up a collection. Hey, for I didn't get a script. He didn't send me a script for this one. So we're gonna take up a collection for Chris to get him some psychiatric help. Uh, I am gonna take a little taste on this. Would you ever put a little brown sugar in that? So I do want to make in teriyaki. This actually tastes, I'll let the Chris taste it on camera. This tastes pretty salty and pretty savory, right? But when you think about how much rice it's going on, that's kind of what you want. Because mm. it's going to be heavily diluted, right? Because only a little bit is going on each salt grain. So what do you, how would you describe it? That's good. That's Savory, right? Yep. Sort of like meaty, you know. That's good. Acid. You don't taste the fish from the fish I sauce. I like it. It's, it's strong. I like it. It is strong. I like but it. But it's going on. Oh, by the way, this was two cups of rice, raw. That's not enough for all that, if you ask me. I think it is. Okay. But we'll see. All right. Because it might not be. Yep. And then when we get it off, if it's weak and crappy, we'll- You can add more as we go if we need to. Well, I'm gonna dump the whole thing on. All right, so that's it. Oh, no, no, you gotta do the chicken, Chris. Velvet. Velvet. Yeah, throw a glove on. I just took them off. So even though we're just doing this now, we're gonna let this chicken marinate in this for 10, 15 minutes at least uh -huh. to soften it up. But. You guys should do this first, whether you're using chicken, pork, or even beef. Now, I've looked all over the place, guys, for like a ratio of how much to use, and uh, you know, I haven't found any standard. So I generally look at the amount of meat. So if you see, we get like 
that much chicken. He likes to look at it. <laughs> the other thing I like to do, get that in there. I like to add a little bit of water. And then you have to aggressively, and this is why we asked Chris to do it, you have to aggressively beat the meat, right? You gotta, <laughs> you gotta work that around and get the, I keep calling it cornstarch, get the baking soda on everything. And Chris, you're gonna see, kind of started watery, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna see that the water sort of disappears. Right, but try to work it into every piece. That's it. Velveting, it makes a big difference. I mean, you can taste it when you uh, when you pull the few pieces of chicken that are in here out. It has a more tender texture. Water gone yet? Pretty moist in here. You wanna add a little more baking soda, you think? No. No? no. That's enough? You can squish it, everything, get it in there. All right, thank you, sir. Good? Good. All right, so we preheated the griddle. The griddle is currently hot, it's on low. So we're gonna start with the chicken. Oh, you know what, Chris, you keep running inside and grab me a knife. You go off your game today, Nate. No cooking utensils, come on. <laughs> well, I had a clean knife till you took it. What kind of knife do you need? You need a big one? Any knife. Actually, I gotta grab oil too. <laughs> no knife. So we're gonna start with the chicken, cause that's gonna take the longest. And I'm actually gonna throw on not a whole lot of frozen carrots and peas. Peas and carrots. I mean, you can put more if you want. <clears throat> But just following the ratio of the takeout, I don't know, they didn't have much. Well, then you put 17 times what they put in. Again, the beauty of the griddle, you can't scratch it. So I'm just gonna cut this up into smaller bite-sized pieces. I feel like that was a knock at Chris. I think it was too. It was a knock to Chris. He just did like tell me to do strips. Out. Now he's telling him he wanted to. He's gonna make up his mind, Jeff. I mean, I did show you a picture. I, I, I gave you kids. that. You don't, that's right. half of what you showed me now. Well, it's gonna get even less too. <laughs> it's not my fault you can't follow a picture. <laughs> don't mind me while I zoom in on that beautiful camp chef with its custom grease trap off to the side. Oh yeah. I think I like his better than yours. That's, I mean, that's purple. I'm sorry. I do. I think I do. It's already looking good from here, Nate. I was gonna say, I don't know, it just makes me happy to see that many colors on the griddle. Yeah. yeah. You throw the onions on? I want to give the chicken a chance to cook about two thirds of the way through. And also the carrots, because the carrots are carrots, and I don't like them too crunchy. How do you like them? You like them crunchy? I don't, I, I don't, I don't like them at all, really. <laughs> you, you, pick it, you pick the carrots yeah. out? I'll put it off to the side, but I still eat them. It's the peas I won't eat. Really? Are you serious? I'm dead serious. So I'm guessing you don't put peas in your shepherd's pie? Hell no. Who does? Ugh. I know. I never liked peas when I was a kid, but I mean, it's something like fried rice. You don't even really taste them. Yeah, I do. Okay. The squishy. Ugh. But you love mushrooms. Love mushrooms. I love mushrooms too now. <laughs> I'm making an omelet with them every morning. Mm. It's been great. Why don't they put mushrooms in fried rice? I think they should. They could. That would be delicious. Especially with that nice soy sauce you made there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yummy. Hey, you got some mushrooms in the house? No. No, just extra peas. I think he's lying. <laughs> I just feel like he's I lying. I think I have some next door. <laughs> I don't doubt that for a second. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now that the food has taken a little bit of heat out of the griddle, I'm actually gonna go up to medium because I want to cook everything else pretty fast. Actually, another thing I forgot. Plates put the cooked food on. Wow. I'll be right back. Wow, Nate. I don't, I don't claim to be a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're not. <laughs> okay, so chicken's probably about two thirds of the way cooked through. Yeah, this is a, I moved it. That part of the griddle's not too hot. This part of the griddle hasn't had the chicken on it, so it's very hot. I'm just gonna dump the egg on there. I was hoping you were gonna do a flip, a toss, and a crack on your spatula. That's gonna cook very quickly. See how quick that is? Move that over. This guy. Gonna cut it one way. Cut it the other. Toss that in. All right, now, now we're going to high. Get this on high. I apologize if me whacking the griddle is deafening you. Cause now we gotta do the onion, which I want crisp. And we're gonna do a buttload of rice. So you said that was three cups finished? Two four? cups. Two cups of raw rice, four cups finished rice. Four cups finished rice. Right. So spread that right. out. Let that pick up all the heat from the griddle. Smells pretty good. Throw the egg and the veggie on top while the rice heats up. 
can hear it kind of crackling. Give it a little squirt of oil. Guys, this is this is a super, super simple thing. You can literally do it with anything you got left in your fridge. I love the volume too. You can feed your whole family for cheap too. Yeah. yeah. We've probably got sufficient heat into the rice. You know, take this big chunk of egg and break that up a little bit. Flip that up, flip that up. I think we got the ratios right. There's it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty Not good. Not much peas. So here comes the magic sauce. You're gonna do the bean sprouts right after because I like them crisp. Chris, I'm going all in. Good. That's a good four. You want another, I like to you move want it. another spatula or you good with the one? I'm good with the one. I like to move it all the way across the griddle. Keep rolling it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Looks like it hit the ratio just right. Yeah. That's great color. Smells good. Got a nice little yeah, breeze coming all this that way. that ginger coming off of there. Yeah. All right, now in the last second or two here, as much or as little bean sprout as you want. I kind of like green sprout, so I'm going to go a little bit heavy. And again, I'm just going to roll that into the heat. You like those on your salad? No. no? I like them a little bit cooked. Chris, you mind grabbing the platter so we can pick this up? The platter I forgot that you so kindly reminded me that I'm off my game. You're getting better. <laughs> I see Chris burning. You're getting better. Right We're there. almost getting food. Oh, yeah. Wow, you really didn't cook it that long either. No. That's gonna have some like No, food. just enough to reduce the uh, the sauce. I don't want the garlic and the ginger to cook so much that you don't taste them. Yeah, but nice start, no. Chris. And now immediately let's get the griddle down to low because there's a lot of starch left on the griddle. That is going to make it a bitch to clean. You can bleep that out. Voila. Nice. And that, my friends, I will tell you, is a better tasting fried rice. And it's better looking too. With ingredients you have in your kitchen. One, two, three, done. done. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. I apologize if you hear me chewing. <laughs> so we have a comparison, visual comparison <clears throat> of the takeout versus this. I would say the flavor difference. Here, I taste mostly rice and salt. Here, I taste a little bit of everything. Freshness is what you taste. Yeah, freshness. Yeah. Is actually, what my wife describes as freshness. Yeah. So it's not overpowering. There's definitely um, some saltiness from the soy. A little bit, but it's, but it's, it's good it's salt. It's good salt, mm. right? Like, not too much. Cutting it with the water is a definite. And the ginger. Spot on. Oh, the ginger comes right through. Mm. Right. Not, not too much, not too little. It's nice little, mm, perfect. I hate to say it, but like I could sit down and literally eat half of this. So we like carb overload. Jeff, you'd be appalled. <laughs> I could do some damage there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. Good job. Excellent. Guys, that was an easy one, right? Mm. Again, you can do it with soy sauce, garlic, water, and rice. You don't need to add everything else. But the intent here was stuff you have in your kitchen. fridge. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. So definitely this, way better than this. Cheers. We'll see you on the next one. Like, subscribe, comments.